environmental activists have seized a cargo ship carrying thousands of Volkswagen diesel cars amid concerns about emissions, Greenpeace said. Protesters used kayaks and boats to reach the 23,000-ton car carrier in the Thames estuary at around 8.30 a.m. on Thursday. They climbed up and were hanging from the ship's 27-mile unloading door and have pledged to remain until Volkswagen takes its toxic cars back to Germany. More than 40 environmentalists also scaled fences at Sheerness Port in Kent, the intended destination of the ship, and gained access to the vehicle park, where thousands more Volkswagen cars are awaiting distribution to UK suppliers, according to Greenpeace. They are attempting to immobilize the diesel models by removing the keys and are labeling the engines with messages urging the manufacturer to ditch diesel. To view this video please enable JavaScript and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video One of the activists, support worker Janet Barker, 38, from Powys, said diesel cars are toxic, so we're here to block VW imports on behalf of all of the children who are the most acutely affected by the health impacts of diesel fumes. VW's polluting vehicles are adding to a public health emergency harming thousands of people. Volkswagen Group sparked outrage in September 2015 when it was found to have fitted software designed to cheat emissions tests to 11 million diesel vehicles worldwide, including almost 1.2 million in the UK. Air pollution causes an estimated 40,000 premature deaths a year in the UK and is linked to health problems from childhood illnesses to heart disease and even dementia. A testing program last year found that modern diesel cars emit six times more nitrogen oxide in the real world than in laboratories. Since September 1 newly launched cars have been required to pass a tougher testing regime involving a more robust laboratory examination as well as being driven on open roads. The government announced in July that new diesel and petrol cars and vans will be banned from 2040 as part of efforts to tackle air pollution. Sefi's dad Bo Ruin, who works in data for Greenpeace, said my daughter Sefi has developed severe respiratory problems which can render her housebound for a week at a time. The wealth of evidence connecting air pollution to respiratory problems in children is now overwhelming. Our country's children, like Sefi, are developing real health issues across our cities, made worse by air pollution. Unless we ditch diesel, we could end up with a whole generation of children with damaged lungs. VW said in a statement we are aware of a protest this morning at the Sheerness Port in Kent. The ship contains a variety of Volkswagen Group vehicles, including petrol, diesel, and plug-in hybrid models. The diesel vehicles, which are the subject of the protest, meet strict EURO6 standards. Professor Jonathan Gregg, a leading expert on the impacts of air pollution on children's health, and the founder of Doctors Against Diesel Group said we know that air pollution and diesel emissions can greatly impact children, from childhood lung development to asthma. Given the scale of the air pollution problem in London, it's sadly predictable that we're seeing so many children across the capital, like Sefi, suffering from respiratory problems. Drastically reducing diesel emissions would immediately reduce children's exposure and improve their long-term health, 